Hello everyone. This is our set of the day. I hope you have some new set solved here. If not, then please first of all try this set, and then we will discuss it. Okay. I hope you have some new set solved here. Let us discuss this set now. Now in this set, information is given regarding the four races, the four horse races, in which horses A1, A2, A3, and A4 participated. And it is given that a different owner among Rizwan, Danish, Dilkush, and Razak owns each horse in no particular order, and none of the four horses finished at the same position in more than two of the four races. Now there is some additional information given based on which we have to arrange the horses in their races. And I am assuming that you people have read the information already. So these are the races. Races are along the uh, columns, and the positions are along the uh, horizontal lines, right? So let us try to fill the table. It is given that in the first race, A2 finished. third right so a2 finished third in the first race and razak horse razak's horse finished first so first position was of razak's horse right interestingly what happened in the second race is that a2 finished first so a2 was first in the second race whereas razak horse was finished third so this position was gone to horse of mr razak right second says in the race 4 a2 finished third so in race 4 a2 finished third and a3 finished fourth third says dilkhush horse finished at the same position in the race 1 and race 2 and also in the race 3 and race 4 so dilkhush ka jo horse tha ghoda tha that finished in the same position in the race 1 2 as well in the race 3 and 4 still we do not know where to fill that information which horse was of mr dilkhush next says in the race 4 a1 and a3 interchange their positions at which they had finished in the race 2 race 4 mein kya hua a1 aur a3 they interchange their positions kaun si positions in which they finished in the race 2 iska matlab jo position race 4 mein a1 ki thi wo race 2 mein a1 ki thi जो रेस फोर में ए थ्री की पोजीशन थी दैट वाज़ द पोजीशन ऑफ ए वन इन द रेस टू राइट अब यहाँ पे एक चीज ले रहा है दैट इन द रेस फोर ए थ्री की पोजीशन फोर्थ है और रेस फोर और रेस टू में ए वन और ए थ्री ने अपनी पोजीशंस इंटरचेंज करी हैं दैट मींस इफ ए थ्री हैज फोर्थ पोजिशन इन द रेस फोर देन ए मस्ट बी हैविंग फोर्थ पोजिशन इन द रेस टू अगर ए थ्री की रेस फोर में फोर्थ पोजीशन है देन ए वन की पोजीशन रेस टू में फोर्थ होनी चाहिए ओनली देन दे कैन इंटरचेंज देयर पोजीशंस द सेम गोज विद द विद द सेकंड केस आल्सो राइट मुझे अब ये देखना है कि ए थ्री ना इफ ए थ्री इज हेयर जो भी पोजीशन ए थ्री की आर टू में होगी द पोजिशन विच ए थ्री हैज इन द रेस आर टू द सेम पोजिशन विल बी ऑफ a1 in r4 right now the positions left for a3 are either second and third now if i give a3 the third position then i can say that a3 was third in the race 2 that means a1 should be uh, getting this position in the race 4 so a4 uh, r4 race me a1 should be in the third position but it's already given that a2 horse is there that means A3 cannot be third in the second race, so it simply means that A3 should be in the second position, and this position went to A1 in the fourth race since they interchanged their positions. Next, it says in race three, A3 finished fourth, so A3 was fourth, whereas A4 was second. and rizwan's horse did not finish first in any of the four races right now come to the point number 3 again that dilkhush horse finished at the same position in the race 1 and race 2 also in the race 3 and race 4 now we know that first of all 
before this uh, point i can see that in the race 2 i have the position of a1 a2 a3 already that means this position goes to a4 so a4 is the horse of razak so i can say that the razak horse is a4 and this force is also a4 okay now after this dilkhush horse finished at the same position in the race 1 and race 2 also in the race 3 and race 4 it simply means that the position of the dilkhush horse was same in the race 1 and race 2 as well in the race 3 and race 4 now in race 1 and race 2 i can see that the first position cannot be of dilkhush horse because it's already given to the razak horse similarly the third position cannot be of the dilkhush horse because in the race 2 the third position is of razak's horse so that means dilkhush horse can be either in the second position or in the fourth position right now if i say that a1 is the horse of dilkhush then a1 should be here right in the fourth position a1 should be here and a1 is having the same position in the race 1 and race 2 and also a1 should have the same position in race 3 and race 4 now in race 4 a1 is in the position number 2 and he sh it should also be having the position 2 in the race 3 but in race 3 it is given that a4 was the uh, was at the second position that means a1 cannot be the horse of dilkhush otherwise you cannot give the same position to a1 in the race 3 and race 4 it is not possible to give the same position to the horse a1 in the race 3 as well as race 4 because in race 4 it's already in the second position but in race 3 it cannot be in the second position so that means a1 is not the horse of dilkhush so dilkhush horse will be a3 that means this this is the position of a3 and from here i can say that dilkhush horse is a3 and it is having the same position in the first and second race as well as in the third and the fourth race now in the first race the positions of a2 a3 and a4 are already uh, uh, filled in and that is that means the left over position is of a1 that will filled here now in the race 3 you can see that a2 was positioned third in the race 1 as well as in the race 4 it is given that none of the four horses finished at the same position more than two times more than two of the four races so that means third position is already uh, gained by a, a horse a2 twice that means this position cannot this position cannot go to a2 once more so that means in the race 3 a2 should be placed in the first position and a1 should be in the third position and here it is a4 and it's already given that this one horse did not finish first in any of the four races and we can see that from this table that in the first position a4 a2 these were the two horses which uh, got the first position and the horses left over are either a1 and a2 right now uh, a1 and a2 but since a2 already has the first position in in the race number 3 that means a2 cannot be the horse of his one so i can say that the horse of his one is a1 and the horse of danish is then a2 so this is the complete arrangement now let us see the questions the first question says who are the owners of a3 and a4 respectively so owners of a3 and a4 are dilkhush and razak given in the option b second says whose horse finished third in the race 3 now third in the race 3 was a1 and a1 is the horse of rizwan so answer is option a next says if the horse with the lowest sum of ranks in the four races won a jackpot of rupees 5 crore which horse won the jackpot now for this we have to find the total of the positions right now a1 says a1 has the it says the lowest sum of the ranks so a1 um, has the positions 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 right so total is 13 similarly for a2 the positions are 3 1 1 and 3 so total is 8 for a3 the positions are 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 
that means 12 and for a4 the positions are 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 and total becomes 7 right so this is the lowest total that means force a4 will win the jerpo so answer is a4 this was the set i hope you people got the idea thank you to all of you